we have some significant advantages in, in buying businesses over time. Uh, the, we would be the preferred purchaser, I think, for uh, a reasonable number of private companies and, and, and public companies as well. And we, our check's clear. So we, we, will, we will always have the money. People know that, that when we make a deal, it will get done, and it will get done as fast as anybody can do it. It won't be subject to any kind of uh, second thoughts or financing difficulties. And we bought, as you know, we bought John's Manville because the, the other group had, had financing difficulties. People know they will get to run their businesses as they've run them before if they care about that, and, and, a, and a, lot of, a lot of people do. Others don't. Um, we have an ownership structure that is, is probably more stable than any company our size or anywhere near our size uh, uh, in, in the country, and that's attractive uh, to people. So, and we are under no pressure to do anything dumb. You know, we, if we do things dumb, it's because we do things dumb. And, and it's not, but it's not because anybody's making us do it. So those are significant advantages. And the disadvantage, the biggest disadvantage we have is size. I mean, it is harder to double the market value of a $100 billion company than a $1 billion company using our, what we have in our arsenal. And, and uh, that isn't, I hope it isn't going to go away. I mean, I hope we don't become a billion dollar company and enjoy all the benefits of those. Uh, and I hope, in fact, we, we have the agony of becoming, you know, a much larger company. Uh, so you, you're on the, you are on the right track, whether we can deliver or not is another question, but, but we go into combat every day armed with those, with those advantages. Charlie? Yeah, this is not a hog heaven period for Berkshire. Uh, the investment game is getting more and more competitive and uh, I, I see no sign that that is uh, <laughs> the mistakes that have been most extreme in Berkshire's history are mistakes of omission. Uh, they don't show up in our figures. Uh, they show up in opportunity costs. In other words, we, we have opportunities. We almost do it. In retrospect, we can tell that we were very much mistaken not to do it. In terms of the shareholders, those are the ones in our history that have really cost the most. And very few managements uh, do much thinking or talking about opportunity costs, but Warren, we have blown billions and billions and billions. I might as well say it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and we keep doing it. Some might say we're getting better at it. <laughs> I don't like mentioning the specific companies because the, you know, we, we we may in due course want to buy them again and have an opportunity to do so at our price. But uh, practically everywhere in, in life and in corporate life too, uh, what really costs in comparison with what easily might have been are the blown opportunities. I mean, it's just, it's an awesome amount of money. I might add that when we speak of errors of a, of omission, of which we've had plenty, and some very big ones. Uh, we don't mean not buying some stock where we, a friend runs it or we know the name and it went from one to a hundred. That doesn't mean anything. It's only, we only regard errors as being things that are within our circle of competence. So if somebody knows how to make money in cocoa beans or they know how money to make money in a software company or anything, and, and we miss that. That is not an error as far as we're concerned. What's an error is when it's something we understand and we stand there and stare at it and we don't do anything. Or worse yet, what really gets me is when we do something very small with it. We do an, an eyedropper's worth of it, uh, when we could do it very big. Uh, Charlie uh, refers to that elegantly when I do that sort of thing is when I'm sucking my thumb. Uh, and, 
And they're really, I mean, we have, we have, we have been thumb suckers uh, at times uh, with businesses that we understood well. And uh, it may have been because we started buying and the price moved up a little and and uh, we waited around hoping we would get more at the price we originally started. There can be a lot of things. Uh, but th those are those are huge mistakes. Conventional accounting, of course, does not pick those up at all, but, but uh, they're in our scorebook.